ChatGPT just launched a brand new study mode and it might be the single biggest upgrade to education since the calculator. Forget just asking for answers. This feature actually teaches you step by step. And what I'm gonna show you in the next 10 minutes will blow your mind. Stick around because the last feature feels like having Einstein on your side. So on 29th of July 2025, ChatGPT just dropped this bomb that's called study mode. And this is not just a button, it's an entirely new way to learn. Instead of just spitting out answers, ChatGPT will now ask you the questions. It will then find out what is your personal skill level and it will walk you through the topic just like a personal tutor. Ask it about Bayes' theorem and instead of just dumping math on your screen, it will first ask you, what is your math background? Then it will adapt the explanation to fit you. But that's just the beginning. Wait till you see how it handles your math homework. Okay, so for feature number one, we have interactive tutoring. This mode was built with teachers and scientists. So it's not just AI, it's AI with a teaching strategy. Study mode uses what is called Socratic mode, meaning that it teaches you by asking, not by telling. So instead of saying, here's the answer, it will ask you, why do you think this works? And that friction is where real learning happens. If you're ever crammed for an exam and you forget everything the next day, this is the fix. All right, let me give you a glimpse. All you have to do is just click on try and chat GPT and you're gonna find this book here that says study. Let's just take an example, explain the theory of relativity. All right, so it starts by asking me, how familiar are you with physics so far? I don't know anything about physics. I don't know anything about it. All right. So it knows that I don't know anything about physics. So it's taking me from point zero. It's taking me from the beginning. So it tells me what relativity means. And then it tells me why Newton wasn't enough. And then some key ideas of special relativity. And then it asks me a question, which is in form of a quick check. Does it make sense so far that relativity connects space, time and motion and that it changes our everyday idea of time being the same everywhere? Yes, that makes sense. Okay, now let's make it more concrete with an example. You see how weird and cool relativity really is. And it gives me this example. I remember that my father gave me this example when I was like 12 years old and it was absolutely mind blowing to me. It then asked me, would you like me to give you a visual way to picture space time bending? visual way and then it explains it in a visual way now next up we have image learning you can now upload your worksheets lecture slides or even a photo of a textbook problem and study mode will break it down piece by piece so next up let's try to upload it a math quiz tell me the answers and help me understand all right and then he's taking the first question notice how it didn't move to second question until i understand why did he give this answer to the first question and then another thing it doesn't just give me the final answer it's hinting me and it's asking me which one matches this do you want to try picking it yourself let's go even deeper i don't understand no problem, let's slow it down and let me tell you this step by step. All right, so the final answer is C. Would you like me to walk you through question number two in the same clear step by step way? Let's do it. And as you can see right here, study mode will give us everything step by step and why and how more specifically to get to that answer. Again, the solution is option D. And it's gonna do the same with all of the points from our quiz. Now my question is, where do you think quizzes are heading into the next, I would say 12 months. I wouldn't give it more than that. Feature number three, multi-subject mastery. Study mode works very well across everything. History, literature, coding, mathematics, physics, biology, even languages. Ask it about Shakespeare and it will not only explain Hamlet, it will quiz you like a teacher who actually wants you to understand. Let me show you what I mean. As you're already accustomed, before we dive in, can I ask you what you already know about Shakespeare? This is what a good teacher would do. All right, so he's telling me who he was, how many plays that he wrote, how many sonnets, how many poems, why he's important, and what are his famous works. So he gave me a full piece of text about Shakespeare and his life. And if I want to learn anything more about Shakespeare, I just need to give it the right direction and it will teach me. The same with coder. It can debug your code and it can actually explain it to you so you will understand where the bug came from this is like replacing google search with an actual professor feature number four it has adapting learning levels when you start a session study mode will not assume anything it will start asking you are you a beginner intermediate or advanced what is your level and then it will ask you what is your goal this means that someone who's in the first grade and wants to learn about calculus and a phd student learning about quantum physics they will both get their lessons tailored to them and here's the nice thing about it if it notices that you're struggling, it will slow down and reteach the concept until you understand it. And to be honest, that's something that even human tutors struggle to do. Now, here's the part that students are going to lose their mind over. Feature number five, it is built for academic integrity. Teachers have been terrified of AI since its inception, fearing that students could cheat with it. But study mode was actually built to stop that. Instead of just handing you over the results or a finished essay, it will guide you step by step through the process. 
OpenAI actually worked with educators and professors just to make sure that this tool will not replace learning. It will actually enforce it. I think that this is the tool that will finally make schools and AI work together instead of fighting. But if you thought that this was big, wait until you hear who's getting this feature for free. That's right, study mode is not locked behind a paywall. So whatever you're on a free plan, plus or even GPT team, it's gonna be there and it's gonna be free. Imagine every student out there having a 24 seven tutor by their side completely for free. Google Gemini and Anthropics Cloud are racing to catch up, but right now I would say OpenAI is miles ahead. And there's one thing that nobody has even talked about yet, and that is the fact that according to its makers, study mode is just in phase one. And right now they are working on study groups, you know, when AI could actually tutor multiple students at once, personal learning analytics, and these will track your progress just like a fitness app does. And finally, voice-based tutoring, so you can actually talk to a tutor just like you would do in real life. This is where education is heading, and if you're not using AI to get there, I'm sorry to say, but you are already behind. So how do you start using it today? That is easier than you think. To try it out, all you have to do is navigate to ChatGPT. Once you have it open, click on tools right here. By the way, you're gonna see the new agent here. We just made a video about it, go and check it out. And right down at the bottom, we have study and learn. Once you see this blue book activated, you are in study mode. Click it, pick your subject, answer a few quick questions about your level, and boom, you're learning faster than ever before. No more Googling or going on Reddit, on random subreddits or forums. This right here is the future of studying. And now the million dollar question what does this mean to you ChatGPT study is the end of learning the old way so if you want to stay ahead of the curve try it master it and share it with someone who's still stuck in 1999 with textbooks please like this video if you learned something new it would greatly help us with the youtube algorithm subscribe to our channel if you want to get more ai updates make sure to visit our website there's an ai for that.com link in the description it's the biggest place for ai tools in the world with close to 40,000 ai tools and while you're at it subscribe to our newsletter and join more than 1.7 million readers that want to stay up to date with ai that's it guys thank you for watching have an amazing day until next time